hello and welcome to my channel i have created a single strike cinderace deck list so let's look at the deck profile for this new deck list that i have created which is really budget friendly so we have got three mincino three cinderace with the ability to use make two uh, one two snorlax with the gormandize ability so this will help us set up in the initial game it helps us draw seven cards initially. I have got four, two and four line of Cinderace. Uh, I am playing two copies of Cinder Single Strike Cinderace, Crisis Power. So if our opponent takes more price cards, then we'll be doing 30 more damage for each price card like our opponent has taken. And if we pair up with Karen's Conviction, this does even more damage. So this is a really nice ability. And I'm playing Libero Cinderace along with it. So we will be able to do 190 damage for 3 Fire Energy. I'm playing 1 copy of Mew, 1 copy of Fion. So it has got Whirlpool Suction ability. So we will be able to switch one of our opponent's bench Pokemon with his active Pokemon. So it is a really good thing. I'm playing two Evo Incense, two Level Ball, two Ordinary Rod. So we'll be able to get back our Mew if our opponent tries to eliminate Mew early on. I'm playing one copy of Palpad, one Pokecom, four Quick Ball, four Rare Candy, four Scoop Up Net, four Bird Keeper because this will be able to help us switch from our bench to our active position and we will be able to attach fire energy and i'm playing three copies of Prof boss's orders two copies of bruno bruno it is a really good uh, like every single uh, single price uh, deck list should have bruno as like a lot of knockouts happen easily i'm playing one karen's conviction as i mentioned we can stack it up with the uh, Cinderace's ability. I'm playing two Rosa. So if our opponent knocks out our Pokemon, I, I can grab one tool card, one uh, like supporter, one Pokemon, and a, 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 a basic energy. I'm playing one copy of Filter, so I'll be able to attach to our uh, single strike Cinderace and will be able to do fireball shot. Uh, I'm playing two copies of U turn board, one capture energy. 2 recycle energy and 5 fiber energy so let's look at the match that i had using this deck so i'm going first and i'm playing against an eternatus i suppose because it has got hoopa and i have got myself snorlax and i'm gonna grab myself mincino and let's just bench the Minchino and Hoopa. So let's just use Gourmand Dice because he won't be able to attack with the Salt Gate. He has to move from bench to from active from bench position to active position for a Salt Gate to activate, and it does 90 damage. So let's see. Let's see what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do? So Professor's Pokecom, sorry, and he is playing Eternatus Vmax as I mentioned. And you can try my deck list out. I have made a new deck list with Eternatus VMAX. It's my favorite deck. And I have added like Galarian Moltres. I'm playing Vivile for energy transfer from Galarian Moltres to Eternatus VMAX. So it is a really good deck list that you should try it out for yourself. And I'm going to, you can check it out in the eye. It really supports me. So. Let's see what my opponent is going to do. I have got a lot of resources. I have got Bird Keeper and I don't know. I don't need Mew. So he's going to Marnie me. Okay, so that's really bad because we had a lot of resources that we needed in our hand. And uh, with that, I don't think I have ample resources that I require. Okay, so I got Cinderace. So I was thinking of using Bird Keeper into my Score Bunny and just gonna retreat into Snorlax again. Gonna attach to my Score Bunny and 
just gonna use reboot i suppose and with that i'm going to just gonna use gormandai's ability because i'll be able to draw more cards if i use cinderace then i would have to discard one card and draw like two cards but it's just i'll be able to draw only one card so that's okay i'm still content with it and let's see i think he'll be able to eliminate my snorlax this turn around okay another crowbat we the dark asset ability okay let's see what you gonna do do you have the Eternatus VMAX to eliminate me or not. Okay, so he's playing Chaotic Swirl. So we don't play any stadium, so that's good. That's not a problem for us. So he has filled all of his bench space, but I don't think that he has got Eternatus VMAX. Okay, so he did have boss. Okay, so he grabbed himself Eternatus VMAX finally. Great ball, okay. Eternatus VMAX, okay. He's gonna evolve the bench, okay? So he does evolve the bench at Tenetus Vmax, okay? Zigzagoon. So Headbutt Trantrum attacks my bench Raput. So I'm thinking of promoting the Cinder Race. So just gonna put down the Score Bunny. Because I don't have any. Just gonna make to the reboot. So if I grab myself fire energy, okay, I don't grab myself fire energy. So that is bad. So just thinking of grabbing another score bunny with that. And just gonna delay him but using whirlpool suction so let's see let's see let's see what he will bring up from his bench position okay hoopa evil a bomb so cinder is gonna bench minchino or snorlax I'm just gonna retreat into Snorlax because I'll be able to use Gourmand Dice and draw more cards. So still no fire energy. It's really tough situation for me. I'm not seeing any fire energy. Okay, big parasol. Okay, this is to combat against Inteleon. Like big parasol helps us helps against Inteleon decklist because he won't be able to bend snipe and Inteleon has quick shooting ability which just bends types and get easy victory. So that's what Eternatus is playing big parasol for. And score bunny. Let's see. Let's see. In a tough pickle right now. No fire energy, nothing. Okay, headbutt trantrum. Let's see what he's going to do. Energy switch, okay. Does he have the switch card? Okay, Professor's research. So he's throwing even more resources into the discard pile. Okay, another attendant as VMAX. So let's see, let's see what's what you're gonna do. So he just passes, okay. So he's gonna quick ball away quick ball and just looking at my deck i do have rare candy and i haven't seen rare candy so i was debating between minchino and score bunny but it is better to set up four score bunny so even if he eliminates me i will be able to get the stuff that i need so just gonna make do so finally got myself the fire energy that I needed so I'm just gonna attach to uh, 
and just gonna evolve into Cinderace. Just gonna put back the Cinderace. And just gonna use Gorman dies because I'll be able to draw four cards. So Bruno recycle energy U turn board. So all these resources are really good. So let's see, let's see what the opponent is gonna do. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's see, let's see. Taking a long time to think. Really long, really long. Don't take so long to think, make a decision. Okay, so he attaches the darkness energy which helps get free retreat for basic Pokemon and he is a basic Pokemon, Hoopa. So he's gonna use Eternatus VMAX. Does he have the boss to eliminate any of our Cinderace? Because I think that's what his plan might be. Not to eliminate the Snorlax, but go for my Score Bunny or my Cinderace. So let's see, let's see. And does he have it? Because most of the time when I play, it's like the opponent gets the good cards. Let's see. Yeah, as I mentioned. So he's going after Cinderace. Okay, okay. Not a bad play on my opponent's part. Commend and respect what he is doing so I'm just gonna promote the score bunny just gonna use Rosa crab Minchino rare candy and fire energy so we don't have that many fire energy most of our fire energy is priced that's why that why the situation but that's okay so just gonna promote that guy just gonna bench the whirlpool suction so let's see what he's going to bring up well, I didn't need it to do whirlpool suction, but that's okay. That's okay. So he's going to bring up the other Eternatus. Okay. So I'm just going to retreat into this Cinderace. Going to bench the Mincino. Just going to use Fireball Shot and I do 210 damage. Okay. Because it is boosted by the fact that our opponent has taken two prize cards already. And he's attached weakness card energy, I suppose. And he's gonna Marnie. So this Marnie is a little bit harsh on us because like we had Rosa in our head and recycle energy. So let's see, let's see how we do it. So that's okay. So just gonna promote the Cinder race. And uh, I think Bird Keeper is the best thing that I need to do. And I'm just looking. And should I use Ordinary Rod or not? Because I don't think like Fire Energy we I'll be needing for the Cinderace. So just gonna shuffle up the Pokemon that I need. So just Cinderace and my Score Bunny. And uh, just gonna put Keeper into my score bunny. So gonna attach the fire energy from my discard pile to the score bunny. And gonna attach the recycle energy. Gonna evolve the Sin Chin Mincino into Sincino. Okay, so just gonna discard the fire energy. So let's see what the opponent is gonna do. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? 
so bird keeper so that's a good price card for us fire energy and quick ball so as i think still one fire energy is priced i think we play five five energy five or four and let's see let's see so he promotes the eternatus v max with big parasol so let's see so he is going after my sensino again okay let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see what you're gonna do big parasol okay so he attaches to the retinatus trident okay so thought you would do that so we are really going neck and neck in this matchup so just gonna attach the board just gonna attach the recycle energy is gonna evolve into he yep evolve into so we have got cinder s only and i think our ordinary rod is priced so just gonna evolve into this guy uh, with this typing so retreat into this cinder s I'm gonna grab myself two fire energy and make two the quick ball. So I have got score bunny, so that is good for next turn. And just gonna use Bruno because I was looking for Belder. So ordinary rod, so that is good for me. Just gonna shuffle up both cinder race, just the cinder race, so that I can grab it next time around and I don't need anything else. So just gonna use flare striker, do 190 damage, and just gonna let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. So this is a really close matchup that we are going up against. And I don't think he's playing Gallery and Moltres because he didn't bench any Gallery and Moltres. So you should check my deck out. I made a new deck. See, Tenetus is my favorite. So you can check the deck out for yourself. So let's see. Let's see what the opponent is going to do. What you're going to do. What you're going to do. What you're going to do. Taking a, such a long time, my friend. Okay, Marni. Okay, Marni. Really tough, tough Marni. This Marni is as well than that would be good, but that's okay. So, reset stamp me to three. Okay. So, reset stamp is a joke. <laughs> real, uh, real life joke. So, let's see. So, dread end. Okay. It gave us the card that that we needed. Literally, we needed rare candy and cinder is and the recycle energy. So it gave us the resources that we needed. So just gonna attach to this thing and just gonna go into the cinder race. So with flare cycle, I'll be able to do 190 damage. So I'm just going to say well played, our opponent well played well and going to do 190 damage. And so with that, I grab myself the victory with the deck list and the victory. So I, the, my final thoughts are that this is a good deck list and you should try this deck list out for yourself and definitely like and subscribe to me as i'll be posting more awesome content and i always post single price single strike tech so thanks for watching and bye for now